What's up guys, Mr. Schwo here, and welcome to episode 5 of Analyzing My Gameplay. And uh, this is something exciting. This is the last time Analyzing My Gameplay will feature a gameplay from the Gears of War 3 beta. And uh, yeah, this is from the beta, it's a TDM, on Thrash Ball. And uh, next time it'll be full Gears of War 3 gameplay. So that's cool, that's exciting. And uh, what we got here? Looks like rushing a little bit with the Nasher. Picking up a couple kills. That's uh, one thing I'm really looking forward to is having a functional Nasher again. I was playing some Gears 1 the other night, and it was a lot of fun. And just blind firing people with the Nasher, just, it's just good to know that that's coming back. You just can't, I mean, you can blind fire the Nasher on Gears 2 and every now and then you will get the kill. But 9 times out of 10, it's not going to register when you're point blank somebody in the face. But if you hard aim, it'll work. So, yeah, that's not broken or anything, but, uh, yeah, Thrash Ball. What do you guys think? You think Thrash Ball is going to play the same with the uh, changes in the spawn? You think people still camp up top even though they opened it? I mean, it'll be easier to take with that piece of cover they put on the on the first wall when you get up the stairs. You know, it won't be so hard to uh, push through a defense. Like that little change just makes a big difference, you know. And that's what the beauty of the beta is, or was. You know, every game should have a beta, but that goes without saying at this point. And uh, man, I'm just going to, going ham with this Nasher. This is one of those uh, moments when you're in the zone and you just can't miss a shot to see. It. And uh, that's what usually happens. Someone ends it by just walking up to you and shooting you in the back. And it's a shame. You wish those moments can go on forever. You can do no wrong. Just keep shooting. And everyone's going down. Everyone's blowing up. But all good things must come to an end. So this guy's down here. Teammate's probably going to tell me to take him any second. Yep, there it goes. He gone. And, uh, looks like I'm just messing around at this point, just rushing a lot. First round's almost over already. Pick up a nice kill there. And uh, that guy looks out. I don't know. Well, he didn't really luck out. He got killed anyway. And there's Toons No Evil taking me out again. That guy seems to have my number. Well, I mean, I would say that, but I'm pretty sure that's the last time I die in this gameplay. So I guess he really doesn't have my number. So I'm rushing right side again. Uh, going upstairs? No, no, no. There's only one guy left, so it's just a mad rush just to see who can get him. So I noticed I'm completely out of capture of the leader gameplays, and I believe King of the Hill gameplays also. In fact, I only have a few more left, which is good. I'm, you know, that's how you know we're getting close. In fact, I'm probably going to upload two videos Sunday uncommentated just because I'm actually going to have one more than I needed. But uh, we're moving on to round two here. And, uh... Now, I play as Anya a lot when the game comes out just to Onyx, the uh, playing is a female character metal. It seems it's a stupid idea to me. It's just like, let's make you play as uh, some characters for a little while, but whatever. I guess I just want to put the emphasis on the fact that they have females in the game. But uh, pushing blue stairs here, missing a lot of shots. And I'm just getting smacked from all over the place, and that was a good time to back away. Teammates didn't push up, so I gotta I gotta hang back with them. And uh, I could tell just <laughs> I really want to get that guy over in the corner, but yeah, it looks like I let it go. Finally, gonna push needs. Are they in here? No. And the indicator is there. That means the scoreboard's gonna fall any second, if it hasn't already. Yeah, and it has, of course. I'm gonna pick up frags here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can pick up a kill. And, uh, scare that guy off. Probably should have pushed after I threw that. Throw one over there. No, probably not. Gonna, oh, all right. I got a kill. Hey, every now and then you catch somebody off guard. And these guys. This look at this one guy. He has no idea there is a gigantic gunfight happening behind him. And he gets taken down. I'm going to steal that kill. I need the meat shield. This guy's got a sawed off. He missed his shot. He's scrambling. Oh, what am I doing? Bag attack. And he chokes the sawed off shot right in my face. Wow. And uh, he's done. And clean him up with a Nasher. And it looks like we are out of ammo with that Nasher. Now, remember, I watched this gameplay before. And for some reason, I just ran around without any Nasher bolts for, like, a pretty significant amount of time for some reason. I... Don't know what's up with that, but uh, the in-game uh, chat suggests that I might have been trying to get ammo from somebody. But this is just kind of stupid. 
I know. I will uh, highly recommend never running around with an empty weapon in any situation. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it with a Lancer or the Retro Lancer so you at least have some kind of realistic attack. But, uh, yeah. Uh, look at this. I'm still no ammo. It's inexcusable. I'm looking around for it. Oh, oh, there it is. And I pick up a hammer burst. Oops. And they're running out of lives. And we just slap them down in this game. We've been known to do that once or twice. Still the kill with a mantle kick all day. And that guy's just camping spawn. That, that's not going to be a very viable strategy come uh, full game. You know, I was uh, I was watching uh, some gameplay from Blood Drive before on Gears 3, by the way. So I guess you could expect that at some point in DLC. And it looks pretty awesome. I don't I don't know if I should link it or not because I, I don't know what the deal with it is. But I'm just going to throw out there that I saw uh, Blood Drive in Gears 3. And it was uh, it was pretty awesome. I'm not sure what that has to do with the gameplay, but I you know, just wanted to throw that out there. I'm li really looking forward to that. That map looks amazing. It's at like the sunset, and there's like fire in the area surrounding, and it's not all a hospital now. It's it's like half of a train station, also kind of now. But uh, so that's something to look forward to uh, in November. But uh, it looks like we're wrapping this gameplay up. And this guy's gonna go down here, and uh, that's a bot that I'm teabagging right there, just for the record. Uh, I think we're gonna let the the guy who down don't come and get his kill, but he's as you can see he's not gonna make it in time. And this will be the final kill of the game. Splat. And that's gonna do it. So all right, so um I will hit you guys up tomorrow with the results of Rod Ferguson's uh final pre Gears three Q and A. So uh that's about it guys. I'll catch you later with that and peace.